Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Ranch? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. So, guys, I wanted to talk about Game 3 of the 1991 NBA Finals between the Chicago Bulls and the Los Angeles Lakers. I feel like Game 3 of the 1991 NBA Finals is not talked about much as it pertains to Michael Jordan's legacy, his greatness in his first NBA Finals appearance. So when we think about Game 3, guys, right, the series is tied one game to one, right? One apiece, right? And the Bulls had lost the first game on their home court. Then they would go on to win the second game, which set up a game three in Los Angeles, guys. And if you guys remember the format of the finals back in those days, it was a 2-3-2 two, two format, which meant that the Bulls would play. They had home court advance. They would play the first two games at home. Then the road team would play three games straight, three games straight, guys, on the road. And then the, the home team would have the final two games at home, games six and seven. And for me, guys, I always thought that the 2-3-2 two, two format favored the road team. Th that's how I figured it. That's how I thought about it. Simply because, like I mentioned, if the road team was able to get a win in those first two games, like the uh, Los Angeles Lakers were able to do against the Bulls, that set them up for, for success. If they're able to get a road win, then they have three games in a row. At their on their home floor. So if you're one of those teams that's really tough to beat at home and you win a game on the road there, now that team has to go on the road and beat you. In three straight games, they have a road game. So I thought that that format really favored the road team in certain situations. However, though, so in game three, like I said, they're in Los Angeles. And... To me, this was one of the biggest games of Michael Jordan's career that people don't talk about. They never talk about Game 3 of the 1991 NBA Finals because when you look at the series as a whole, they beat the Lakers four games to one. So you're probably thinking, what is this guy talking about? The series wasn't even competitive. It wasn't that close. The Bulls were clearly the better team, and they were. However, we have to put things in, the con in context here. <clears throat> the, a lot of people were picking the Lakers to win that series, guys, due to the greatness of Magic Johnson, due to Magic Johnson's experience, due to the experience of the Los Angeles Lakers. Guys like Byron Scott, you know, they had experience um, <clears throat> playing in the playoffs. And when you think about, you know, the Bulls, like I said, having to go on the road in their first NBA Finals after losing the first game at home, now they have to go on the road in their first NBA Finals in, you know, that legendary Los Angeles Lakers forum. And, you know, that game was a very tight game. It was a very tight game, guys, and it came down to the wire. And the most remarkable thing happened in that game for Michael Jordan, which I mean, say that, you know, people don't talk about it much. They should. So at the end of that game, guys, <clears throat> with about, I don't know, 30 seconds left or, or a minute left, whatever it was, Scottie Pippen fouls out, Right? Sky Pippen fouled out, and the Bulls were down by two points. So with, 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 I believe, like nine seconds left, the Bulls had the ball. They called a timeout. <clears throat> so they inbound the ball to Michael Jordan on the far end of the court. Michael Jordan drives the entire length of the court, right, with Byron Scott guarding him the entire length of the court, hand-checking him the entire length of the court. Michael Jordan stops on a dime, rises up, and shoots a, a perimeter jump shot at the top of the key over the outstretched hands of 7'2", Vladi Divac. I want you guys to go back and watch that show. Watch, uh, shot. watch the replay of that shot. In Game 3, 1991 NBA Finals, end of the game, to send it into overtime. Michael Jordan taking the shot over Vladi Divac. I want you guys to go back and watch that shot. And see how close Vadi Divac was to blocking that. I mean, fingertip away from blocking that shot. Fingernail away from blocking that shot. Very highly contested shot. Michael Jordan sinks that shot. Now, one of the one of the incredible things about not only the difficulty of the shot. Like I'm telling you, you guys go back and watch the replay. You'll see how difficult that shot was. Like I said, driving the entire length of the court at full speed. With Byron Scott on his hip. Having to stop like that. Raise up and hit that jumper. It's very difficult. Michael Jordan would go on to jam his toe badly on that shot, um, which would hinder him through the rest of the finals. But, like I mentioned, Michael Jordan making that shot, setting the game into overtime. And leading up into that shot, guys, Michael Jordan wasn't shooting great. He didn't have great shooting numbers. I believe in that game he was like 11 for 29. Or I think he shot like 39% or something like that in that game, guys. 
Um, but he did other things. Like I've told you guys in the past, Michael Jordan always found a way to impact the game in other areas. And with those kind of shooting numbers, you would think someone like a Michael Jordan would not have the confidence to take a shot at the end of the game like that, right? But it, that's Michael Jordan's greatness, guys. He still had the confidence in himself to raise up and make that shot, to send the game into overtime without Scottie Pippen on the court. He had fouled out, I told you guys, in regulation. So now the game goes to overtime where Michael Jordan would dominate the Lakers in, in overtime without Scottie Pippen. They would go into, I think, outscore the Lakers like 12 to 4 in that overtime. I believe they won 104 to 96, I believe was the final score. And in that game, Michael Jordan finished with 29 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists, 4 steals, 2 blocks. Just a great all-around game. Like I said, he didn't have the greatest shooting numbers, but he impacted the game in other ways. By making the game tying shot to send into overtime. And then, like I said, finishing the team off, finishing off the Lakers in overtime, finishing strong. On the road to go up two games to one, the Bulls would eventually win four games to one, like I mentioned. But that, to me, game three of the 1991 NBA Finals was one of the biggest moments of Michael Jordan's career. Like I said, guys, the Lakers were favored to win that Finals by a lot of people, especially after they won game one. People were like, yup, the Bulls are not ready. They're nervous. And if you guys go back and watch game one of the NBA Finals, you can see Horace Grant, Scottie Pippen, a lot of these other guys, uh, were visibly shaken, were visibly nervous out there on the court. The only person who performed up to level was Michael Jordan that first game. And the Bulls lost that first game. Uh, Michael Jordan, uh, Sam Perkins hit a shot, and then Michael Jordan missed a shot at the end of the game to, to try to win it. So those first couple of games, like you said, you, you see the, 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 comp, the competitiveness, right? These Lakers were a very good team. The Lakers who beat the uh, league-leading Portland Trailblazers in the Western Conference Finals uh, that season. So shout out to Michael Jordan, man. One of the, uh, you know, one of the times in his career that, you know, people don't mention much, right? They don't talk about that game three shot over Vladi Diva in the 1991 NBA Finals to send to overtime. You know, another crazy thing about that game, guys, is I believe Michael Jordan played 52 minutes, I believe, that game. 52 minutes of a possible 53 minutes, you know, with the one overtime period. Yeah, so he played 52 of 53 minutes. He was the only player to play 52 minutes in that in that game. I believe Matt Johnson played 50 minutes that game, maybe, I, or 51 minutes. Like, I can't remember. But he played 52 of the 53 minutes, guys. Still had the energy to make the shot at the end of the game to tie it. And then had the energy to finish the job in overtime. So shout out to Michael Jordan, the greatest of Michael Jordan in the 1991 NBA Finals. Game 3, not talked about, man. Guys, go back. Watch that shot on Vlade Divac at the end of Game 3, guys. Really, really difficult shot, man. The degree of difficulty on that shot is insane, man. Just check it out, guys. Michael Jordan, 1991, Game 3. One of the biggest performances he had early in his career in his first NBA Finals that people don't mention.